Hi, my name is Lee Causey and I work for Microdesk as a solution specialist in the MEP field. Listen, I'm here today to talk to you about one of my favorite new features in Revit 2016. So let's just get started. So in the past, if I wanted to make a 3D section of this area right here so that I could get in nice and close and work in a tight area, I would have to do one of two things. Either cut a section, orient a 3D view to it, or create a call out and create a 3D view of that. Well, the fine folks at Autodesk have made this quite a bit simpler for us in this release. So I'm just going to show you how that's done. If I wanted to create a 3D section of this area right here, or even one piece of this, all I have to do is select what it is that I want to create the 3D view of, go up to my contextual tab, if I come over to the view panel, you'll see there's a little guy right here called section box. Okay. Now if you watch the tool tips, it'll show you how to use it, but I'm going to do that for you. So if I want to create a, let's say, a close-up of these guys right here, just select the ones I want, come up to my contextual tab, click 3D view, and it creates a nice 3D view for me. You see, now I grabbed a little bit of everything, ceiling and what have you. That's fine. What it's done is it's basically created a section box around the things that I had selected. Now I can very easily grab this section box and stretch it out this way. Oh, excuse me. And this way. Any which way I like. I can also change the coarseness to fine, medium, coarse. I can change to wireframe. I can change anything you can change here. It's just another 3D view. It will actually pop up in your project browser as well. I'll change this over to type and discipline and it will pop up. There we go. 3D views. Mechanical. Oh, no, it's not there. Which one is it? 3D view under discipline coordination. There we go. So there's my 3D view that was created. Now I can drop this on sheets. I can use it just for production. I can use it for detailing. Anything that you would use a normal 3D view for. Hope this helps. Can't wait to talk to you next time. Take it easy.